If you're wondering what data analytics tools to learn in 2025, then you're in the right place. With the industry constantly evolving, the right tools can make or break your data career. In this video, I'll walk you through the most in-demand data analytics tools that top companies are using today and will continue to rely on in 2025 and much further beyond that. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo Chan and I work as a data and analytics manager and I have over six years of experience working with complex big data in the financial services industry. I love getting straight to the point. So let me just do that with the first tool, Microsoft Excel. It is estimated that there are anywhere between 750 million to 1.2 billion people who use Excel on a monthly basis. Now, I have to add here that it is also estimated that Google Workspace, which includes Google Sheets, of course, is used by about 2 billion people on a monthly basis, just to give you a quantity comparison. But this figure can be misleading in the sense that most large companies tend to use Microsoft products. It is estimated that four out of five, so 80% of Fortune 500 companies use Microsoft 365 and hence very likely Microsoft Excel as well. I always recommend learning Excel over any other spreadsheet tool because Microsoft products dominate the big corporate world and it is simply so much more powerful than say Google Sheets, its biggest competitor. Before I move on to the next tool, let me show you a place where you could learn all of the technical skills I mentioned today and much, much more. No matter what data career you wanna have, whether that's becoming a data analyst, a data scientist, or even a machine learning engineer, Coursera's new data career hub has all of the answers for you. Let's take data analysis, for example. You can use the free career guides to help you decide what you should actually learn. The top courses I would recommend if you're after generalist data analyst courses and certificates would be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate and the IBM Data Analytics with Excel and R Professional Certificate. If you want something that is very much business focused, then you should go with the Google Business Intelligence Professional Certificate. And if you're after specialist courses and certificates, then I would recommend you go with either the Tableau Business Intelligence Analyst Professional Certificate or the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Professional Certificate. By the way, did you know that you can get 50% off right now from your Coursera Plus subscription, through which you would of course gain access to all of the courses I mentioned before. So make sure you check out the Coursera Data Career Hub and get started with Coursera Plus at a huge discount using the links in the description below. And a huge shout out to Coursera for sponsoring this video. So. The next tool I'll cover is SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, and I think of it as the cornerstone of data retrieval. If you wanna pull data from relational databases efficiently, SQL is a must-have skill. Whether you learn PostgreSQL, MySQL, or Microsoft SQL Server, or something else, it doesn't matter, in my opinion. The moment you learn one, you'll easily be able to write queries in any other SQL dialect. It is estimated that 75% of Fortune 500 companies use SQL and that it is the third most popular tag on Stack Overflow. Next up, Python. I love it because its flexibility makes it one of the best, if not the best, programming language in data science and analytics. It is the second most used programming language on GitHub. And if you're wondering why I'm not recommending the first, because it's JavaScript and it's used mainly for web development, not data analysis. Useful libraries to learn from a data analytics, data science point of view would be the pandas, the numpy, the matplotlib, the seaborn, scipy, and scikit-learn libraries. I won't even start listing the companies that use Python because we'd be here forever, but just think of any large worldwide company really, Google, Spotify, Walmart, Apple, Microsoft, so on and so forth. 
Up next, let's cover some visualization tools, because let's be honest, if you want to communicate data insights effectively, you'll need great data visualization skills. There are over 3 million Tableau public profiles. And of course, this does not take into account the paid enterprise Tableau licenses. So the real number of Tableau users is higher, much higher. This article from 2016 estimated that there were over 5 million Power BI users, so I cannot even imagine how many there would be now. And let me just list some companies from the official Tableau website that run Tableau. Verizon, Lenovo, Lufthansa, British Airways, and obviously many, many more. And here's some companies that use Power BI. Vodafone, Walmart, ExxonMobil, T-Mobile, and again, obviously many, many more. I always recommend learning either Tableau or Power BI as your visualization tool because they dominate the market. With that said, in my own Ultimate Data portfolio, I have a project in both Tableau and Power BI, but learning one is definitely enough. Now, let me talk about cloud skills quickly. With technology evolving and many companies moving from on-prem to the cloud and many other companies being founded in the era of the cloud and therefore running everything in the cloud, these cloud skills are also important. If you decide to learn cloud skills, please go with either Amazon Web Services, Azure, or Google Cloud, because as you can see, they dominate the market share. These are the top three cloud platforms. And if you're a beginner, just stick with one of these to avoid learning cloud skills that are not used by most companies. Netflix and Airbnb are major AWS users. Microsoft obviously relies heavily on Azure, and Spotify uses Google Cloud, just to name some large companies. And I'm afraid that's it. That's the end of this video. These are the must know data analytics tools for 2025 and the near future. Whether you're just starting out or looking to upskill, mastering these tools will set you up for success in the evolving world of data. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out my website for more data analysis resources, including my free newsletter and my data analysis bundle. And you should also probably check out these videos right here. Thanks so much for taking just a little time out of your day to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.